morning everyone it is april the 29th and it's a monday morning i thought i'd do a weekly vlog this week i was going to do one last week but i was really poorly um it was off work so there wasn't anything happening at all apart from a few ebay sales I had a sore throat as you can hear it's still here lost my voice and i had conjunctivitis in my eyes um so we've got eye drops i'll do those in a minute yeah, it's cleared up now but uh, this particular eye particular was just blood red it was horrible so didn't do one last week do one this week um ebay i haven't put any work into it at all other than a few relists um well we get through to the constant good till cancelled thing and basically a few tweaks and posting out stuff the tweaks are because of these new item specifics they want in on clothing which got me in by wednesday so i'm trying to do it but half the time a site won't respond and you're like waiting forever to do something it's really really annoying um on the blog editor so yeah i mean i've, I've still got sales ticking in even though i haven't listed anything new i mean <coughs> I had three sales yesterday and I, I posted four items on Saturday and some on Tuesday. I'm not sure whether I did anything on Thursday. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. It is ticking over. I'm just watching um, my morning YouTube, which I always start the day with Lonnie over at Garage Flips. Love, love, love his channel. Um, always start the day with Lonnie. Yeah, but he wouldn't. Back to work today. Do don't really want to go. Things, I enjoyed being off. Even though I was ill. It was nice yeah. to be at home. But yeah, we got a couple more there we go. Anyway, I'm going to drink my tea, take my eye drops, and get ready for work and get Jennifer up. The joys. So we're back home from work and nursery now. Um, we're going to have a little cuddle on the sofa and watch some some YouTube. We're going to watch uh, Karen Sells Clothes, her Monday packing, which was live this morning. I get it whenever that notification comes up and I'm not able to <laughs> to watch it live. Um, and then there's Resale Rabbit. He's got a video on about what he sold on eBay for over $500. So that's always good fun. i got three orders to pull myself, so I'll show you those later. And I'm hoping I might be able to get back into actually listing stuff soon. What are you pulling faces for? There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's you know, one of those days really on a Monday because, um, yeah, I hate work. Don't really want to be there. I'd rather be at home with this one. We had fun at nursery. I went to Granddad's and had ice cream. And, yes, it's you. You can see yourself, can't you? Here you are. She thinks it's amazing when she can see herself. So, yeah, I'll show you when I'm pulling those orders a bit later on. But now I'm going to have a drink and catch up on some of my YouTube Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday the 30th of April, can't believe it's the uh, last day of the month and we're in May, summertime, excellent. Apparently it's going to be very hot over the next three months, they reckon, and we're going to have a lovely bank holiday weekend coming up, which is great. So, two boot sales this weekend, so I'll take you with me on the, on the Sunday, and we might go to the charity shop on Saturday. So yesterday I forgot to show you myself pulling my orders. Because it gets to that time of night and I just want to get it done. I was also doing some updates on my eBay account to try and get it ready for tomorrow with the uh, clothing specifics. Which is a bloody nightmare. I wish I'd stop changing things. i got to be honest, when I'm searching for something, if I'm looking to buy something, I don't put in cotton long sleeve crew neck top. I put in red top in the size. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, 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 they seem to think it works. I, I don't know. Um, I'm getting there. I'm nearly done. Some more of that to do tonight. This afternoon after work, normally I would go to my normal sourcing place and then to the post office. But instead, we've got to go to Cardiff to pick up Jennifer's car seat because my car's so old. My car's like 18 years old. It doesn't have ISOFIX, so I've got to have a belted seat. We couldn't get one at Halfords. They didn't have one that would work. So I've got to go to Cardiff, Newport Road. Um, to mother care they've got one it's ordered they didn't have it in stock on saturday when we went down there um but it's on order it should be coming in today so straight from work we're going down there it should be in just after two now right by there in the same section of the retail park um is well not far away is the big new cancer research shop <laughs> which I've not been in yet, so I'm thinking I'm going to get there before two. Let's go and have a quick look, see what's in there. So I might take you in there if I can. 
and then once I've done that I'll be going to uh, back to Risker to the post office to post before I go home to start work on some more eBay you never know we might find something in the accounts research I'm actually expecting it to be really expensive but you never know so let's get this boring part of the day done at the office my normal day job which pays the majority of the bills well it pays all the bills with some money left over for me to save and use to buy stuff um, eBay's still going well I'm making enough money on eBay to buy more stock cover all my fees including my shop subscription and have a bit of profit as well so I can't really complain um, I just want to get up to a, up to a level where I don't have to do a day job and I can just do eBay um, I don't think it'll be long if I can crack on and get on with it so I'm gonna take her into nursery now get this job done and crack off to Cardiff to have a look at the new cancer research shop so we've made it to Cardiff we're at mother care cancer research is over there so we're gonna head off that way and have a look so here we are, this is the massive cancer research shop. And look, there's a big sign on it that says, everything three pounds or less. So let's go and have a look and see if it is. So we went to Mother Care, got the car seat. Did have a good look around the charity shop. There's some nice stuff in there, but I'm so used to paying 50p or a pound. And there wasn't anything major that I thought I've got to have. But I did find the 18 season two. Bought season one at Car Boot the other week. And so now I've got this, and as you see, uh, Jennifer is in her new car seat. Say hello, Jennifer. And we're gonna go home, because she's very tired, she keeps falling asleep. And I'm hungry, because I haven't had any lunch yet. So yeah, that's it, I've had a quick sale, a very cheap sale. Something I'm happy to get rid of, it's just something, uh, Tesco's item for it, some Fred Chambray belted top. Gone for £6.19, which includes the shipping, so very, very cheap item. Glad to see the back of it though, because it gives me more space to put out some of my good stuff. Um, so I'm going to be trying to get that sorted the rest of this week. So finally I'm going home to have my Greg's corned beef pasty slice thing and jam donut with a cup of tea. Morning everybody, it is today, um, Wednesday, 1st of May. Jennifer's happy in her car seat, a lot happier than in her other one. Forward facing generally suits her better I think. She'd always cough and end up throwing up in the rear-facing one, so now she's old enough legally to go for front-facing. She is. Obviously, if you can keep the rear-facing, it's safer, but uh, my car's so ancient, it's very difficult to get a car seat that will actually still rear-face. But she seems happy front-facing. She can see me, she can see what's going on, and that's really better for her. So we're at nursery now. We're going to go and do our normal day before we go home and hopefully gonna try and get some eBay stuff packed away that I've got that needs to be put into poly bags and then filed, numbered and filed. I've done some, I just need to number it and put it in the box. But that way, somebody asked me to do a review of a book called Marilyn The Last Take. So I'll be pulling that from the library and um, so I'll read that again tonight. So I'll show you that when I get it. The library is also the stock room where I keep all my eBay stuff. So it's always good fun. So I will see you when I finish. <laughs> the joys. So I'm up here in the spare room. Just using some of my Marilyn collection. Maisie's been decapitated. And I've got one order to pull and it's in the box right at the bottom. Box G, so I'm gonna get in and get that. And then I'll find the book that I've been asked to uh, review, which will be in that shelf over there behind Maisie, I think. Yes, I can see it, it's, uh, it's fine. So I'm just gonna get this item out and then find the book. So here we are, this is the Top I've sold is just Florence and Fred. I only sold for three pounds a mint, very cheap. Glad to get it out, really. Um, I've had another really cheap sale, but I'm just waiting for payment on it. I'm hoping it will come in soon. And then this is the book somebody asked me to review Marilyn Last Take by Peter Brown Patty Barham. A dual murder conspiracy revealed, if you believe all that. Um, and it's from 92, I think, around that time. Anyway, let's have a quick look. As you can see, the pages are a bit yellowed. Um, where's 
Oh, I've got a headache. Oh, right. Yeah, 1992. There we go. Happy. So we'll read that and then review it on the channel. As you see, this is all bags of unlisted stock. That's got listed stock in it. That's got listed stock in it. I've just got to put away. There's a dress down there that I bought. It's a really, really nice dress. And it's it's by Myling Class, I think. But it needs it needs a bit of a wash because on the back, I think it's on the back, yeah, on the back, by the straps, there's some red marks. So I'm just going to wash it. So I've just condensed all the listed stock into this one bag because I'm trying to put it all away. And my job for this weekend is to try and get as much of this photographed and listed as possible. There's just some really nice stuff in here. I've got some lovely dresses. And the place I get them from, so they got lots more. But there's also a Hobbs dress that I got for a pound. And two Hobbs cashmere silk co uh, cotton cardigans that were 50p each. And I just haven't got them listed yet. So I need to get through it all. Do the dresses first. And then tops and skirts and so on. I've just got so much of it. There's more here. I have been sorting it out into dresses, tops and so on. But it's all over the place so I need to start sorting that out so I might have a quick look at that now. Good morning everyone, it's Thursday morning, 2nd of May. Hi Jennifer. Yeah. I'm shattered. Jennifer kept me up most of the night. Didn't sleep very well. And then at half past two she started coughing so I pulled her out of bed because it was quite nasty. I thought she needed to sit up. And she stopped so I settled her down with me and she started coughing again and then I sat her up and she threw up everywhere so I had to get her changed, get me changed changed the bed so Paul helped and then she settled back down again and then 10 minutes later she did it again she threw up everywhere all over me all over her all over the bedding so it all had to be changed again I had to have a shower because it was everywhere poor kid luckily after that she was fine and she's okay now she's fine in herself she just had too much rubbish to eat yesterday so I'm gonna really have to stop um granddad giving her the uh, too many yum yums So we're at nursery. We're gonna go in in a minute. It's a bit early yet. I'm so tired. We go work. Then I've got to go to the post office this afternoon. It's my normal sourcing afternoon. You can see yourself again. Um, so if I remember, I'll show you because I keep forgetting to show you where I go. I don't want to show you where I go, obviously, because it's my my place. But I'll show you what they've got. Um, I saw some of the people from it the other day and they said they had a load of dresses in, um, really nice ones, so I'm hoping. I did sort out um, some of that stuff last night ready to photo and list and there are four bags of tops and some of these bags are big bags, you know, the big shopping bags from the supermarkets. There's uh, two bags of dresses, a bag of skirts, a bag of jeans, a bag of menswear, oh there's so much of it. So, I'm going to get today done and then to go to the post office with my one item and then I will probably go to sleep for an hour this afternoon. Because somebody will be out big time. Anyway, time to go to nursery. See you later. It's Friday morning. So yesterday didn't amount to much, did it? I still forgot to show you the tart sale. I bought five items, uh, three dresses and a silk skirt for £3.50 and a top for Paul which was a pound if you don't like it I'll sell it it's from next um yeah so I want a huge amount in there and then I went and had some went to the post office went and got some lunch I went home after well, I took a see granddad then we went home and she fell asleep in a cot and I went to bed for a couple of hours because I was shattered from being up all night and then it was tea time and then it was bedtime so not a lot happened but today I'm going to try and photograph 10 new items that I've got because like I said I've got two bags of dresses, four bags of tops and like I said I bought another three dresses um, yesterday. Yay. So had a couple of sales, got to post nothing of high value, nothing major um, but still it's sales, it's ticking over. Had an offer this morning on a dress but it was a really low offer, it wasn't even half the price of, of what I got it listed for. So the dress is listed for £15.99 and they usually list it higher. Yeah it was only Dorothy Perkins, I'm happy to take a tenner for it. 
but they offered seven pound. Now, somebody offered me seven pound for a Dorothy Perkins top, which I took. I'm happy to do that. But for a dress, if they'd offered me ten, I would have taken it. So I counted for twelve, and I haven't heard anything, so they're probably not going to buy it. But I'm not that bothered. It's a lovely dress. It will sell. It's very summery. It's a cold shoulder. Um, yeah. So Friday, it's a bank holiday weekend. Yay! Oh, so charity shops tomorrow. And then boot sales on Sunday, and then Monday will be a uh, bank holiday, so we'll do our normal shopping, and I might try and get some photographs done, get some new stuff listed. I'm trying to try and list uh, 10 items a day, because I have got that much. I've probably got a good 100 items or so, if not more. And that's not including the cameras. It's good fun, I know. So anyway, we're in the nursery, as you can see, Jennifer's uh, all tucked up in her car seat, wondering what I'm talking about. Thank you. There's a smile. There's a nice smile. Um, yeah, we're having a buffet today because it's somebody's birthday, so that's all good. We like food. And I will see you, hopefully, when I get home, because I plan on doing a bit of work on my eBay this afternoon. So see you later. So I've had another sale. It's evening now. And as you can see, I've got a little baby sitting on me. So it's very difficult for me to actually do any eBay work at the moment. Paul's gone out for the evening. So tomorrow morning I'll pull my orders and post them and then we'll go out sourcing and then I'll take you with me and hopefully we'll actually get some interesting stuff on this vlog except for just me saying that time's got away from me again. All right. Hey, look, it's you. Yeah, look. Yeah. Yes, you. He's a pretty girl. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm watching the A-Team. So it's Saturday morning. It's about half past ten. We're in Newport. I've just bought some Turkish delight like for my dad from a stall in the market in Kingsway Centre. I still haven't brought my next vouchers down. I'm going to have to go online and use those, Paul. Yeah. Jennifer's enjoying the sunshine, aren't you, Peanut? Yeah. And we're... Uh, Depends what's a charity shop. I did pull out some of my orders, but they don't actually have to be posted till Tuesday, so that's when I'm going to post them. See you in a bit. So I bought 17 items in uh, one shop, which was a pound shop, so I got 17 items for £17, some nice bits. So I might do a haul tomorrow after their uh, boot sale, if I can. So we're just walking up now to another one pound charity shop in Port. Have a quick look in there. Then we've got this um, David's Foundation, because sometimes they have cameras in there, don't they? Right. Um, and then it'll be time for lunch. Yum, 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 yum. Here we are, Jennifer. So we've come for lunch now, and we're in a restaurant called Tower, which is an Indian buffet. All we want. We've had pop tons and starters, and Jennifer's eating the chicken nuggets, which is great. Yum, yum, yum. So we just had lunch in Tower. It's a great Indian buffet if you fancy an Indian. Newport's got some good Indians. There's a new Lahore. There's Hattie. But if you fancy trying lots of different things, Tower is the place to go. Fourth time we've been there, but it's always been good. So now we're going to get a newspaper for Mum and Dad and head off and see them. So we're back home from Newport now, and I'm going to try and photograph a few items. Um, we bought, I bought six dresses at £2 each, so £12, and there's some lovely dresses, one of them's phase eight and it's absolutely gorgeous, for two quid, you can't go wrong, it's, it's one of their really nice ones. So I spent twenty-something pounds, just under thirty quid, yeah, twenty-nine quid, and I got twenty-three items, so I'm happy with that, it's really good. Um, but I'm going to be starting with this lot. The dress is here, so that back there, the B and M one. Um, I'm going to pull my two orders, which are I10 and K6. So I'm going to get those. In fact, I can see the one in K6 so at, right here. Um, I'm going to get those out now while I'm here, and then I'm going to start photographing. So here are my two items that sold. This is a new look top. This is one of my old dresses. <laughs> I let them have it for seven quid. And this one sold for eleven ninety nine, I think, or twelve ninety nine. And it is a next black tunic. A size I think it's a size sixteen or an eighteen. 
I'm not sure for the right size is on it, but on the listing, but I'm not sure what it is at the moment. So I've picked out my 10 items I'm going to photograph. So I've got a grey with Ryland dress. This is a next sort of office wear dress. Got a couple of summery dresses here. And now, where's the dresses? I don't know who that one's by. I think one of them's by Kaleidoscope. And the other one's, I think, is Marks and Spencer's. Nope, this one's Kaleidoscope. Which I know is like a catalogue brand, I think. This one is Per Una. Size 16, though, so it's a nice size. It's a lovely summer dress. I've got this sort of work thing. It's got polka dots on it. And that's Precise Petite, I think. Yeah, Precise. Precise. It's not precise petite, it's just precise. It's a nice one. My favourite one here. This is a size 16 Hobbs work dress. And that cost me a pound. With pockets, it's even got pockets, working pockets. And then there's Kardashian collection black dress. This is a sort of really weird dress that I picked up for a pound somewhere. It's by a brand called Catherine. It's only a size 8 and it's tiny, but it's really nice. Um, and there's this sort of boho -y hippie one. I don't know who that's by. Hang on. Can't find it. I don't know. And then there's this one. I think this is just like a yours or something like that. It's nothing major or Roman. It's something like that. But it was only a pound, so... Oh, Country Casual CC, size 16 as well. It's really nice, actually. So I'm going to pull out the Naked Maisie. Get these 10 photographs so I can try and get them listed later and obviously take down my two orders. The funny thing is when I was just pulling those orders and getting these dresses ready, another order came through. So I've got to find where that one is. I have no idea, but I'll look it up in my uh, orders list. And what I'm going to do when I've done these is I'm going to backfill them into these boxes. I've still got two big boxes there that are empty. Well, they're not empty. They've got stuff in them, but they are technically empty. So I'm going to backfill the new stock into here for now. And then the stuff that I haven't bagged yet, which is just the here. And there's also some, there's a bit more downstairs and I've got a bit of space in the one downstairs. Um, I'll put in those and then I'm just going to keep backfilling it, I think. C has, has is fairly empty, so I know I've got a lot of space in C. So I'm going to crack on because I'm really tired, and I would like to have a lie down this afternoon if I can. Whew, hard work. So let's crack on with these photos. Jennifer, come on me. So we went to the boot sale at Tesco this morning and bought a few bits. I thought the other one was on today up at High Cross, but it wasn't. Um, so yeah bit of a bust there so my phone won't let me take or record take photographs or record any videos it says it's full even though i've deleted loads of stuff so i'm gonna have to look at that so i'm filming this on a compact camera we did buy a few bits i will do a little haul most of it is just for us it's all for us really um some bits for jennifer a couple of plushes for jennifer um, board game, a couple of cameras, some rolls of film, Criminal Mind Seasons 1 to 6 in the box. I think it's 1 to 6, yeah, 1 to 6. Um, and three cameras. So I will do a haul with my charity shop stuff as well later on today or tomorrow. We might go for a walk later, so I'm not going to actually end the vlog yet, just in case we do, because we might take you with us. Um, yeah. Oh, there's my toast. I'm going to have some breakfast now. See you in a bit. Jennifer, where are you going? Come back here. So that's about it, really, for this weekend. If I get a chance tomorrow, I'll film a charity shop come boot sale hall. Let's see how I feel. Um, I'm going to order a Domino's pizza now and we're going to have food. Jennifer's going to have hers in a minute because Daddy's on it. So I will see you again another time. I don't know when. I might film the boot sale next week, the one that's actually on next week, if I remember. 
Hope you've had a good weekend. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.